everyone how are you all i hope all of you must be doing great and staying happy today we are going to discuss the poem hayavata from unit 6 of book mary gold for class 4th prescribed by ncert the main elements in this video are digital poem recitation explanation of the poem new words and their meanings The poet of this poem is Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Longfellow was born on February 27, 1807. He attended a dame school at the age of 3 and was enrolled by age 6 at the private Portland Academy. He published his first poem in the Portland Gazette on November 17, 1820. a patriotic and historical four stanza poem called the battle of lovell's pond he pursued his goals by submitting poetry and prose to various newspapers and magazines much of his poetry imparts cultural and moral values particularly focused on life being more than material pursuits The Song of Hiawatha is an epic poem written in 1855 which features native american characters So children this poem Hiawatha is a part of an epic poem The Song of Hiawatha Enjoy this poem Hiawatha Hayavatha was a young red indian boy he lived with his old grandmother nokomis in a wigwam so children who are red indians they are basically native americans means people born in america this term red indians was used by european colonists in 18th and 19th century for native americans based on their colors so who were european colonists these were the people from europe who were ruling in america so this boy named hayavatha was a young red indian boy and he used to live with his old grandmother whose name was nokomis both of them lived in a wigwam So children wigwam is a dome shaped hut or a tent made up of mats and bamboos as you can also see in this picture some dome shaped or conical shaped tents are here which are made up of mats and bamboos Nokomis taught Hayavatha about the wonders around them she told him about the stars the trees the insects the birds the animals and many other things here it is given that hayavata's grandmother told him about the beauty of nature hayavata grew up to love them all he could talk to the birds and the animals and they to him so children as the time passed hayavata grew up and loved all of them the stars trees insects birds etc he could also understand their language and used to talk with birds and animals let us now recite the poem then the little hayavatha learned of every bird its language learned their names and all their secrets how they built their nests in summer where they hid themselves in winter talked with them whenever he met them called them hayavata's chickens of all beasts he learned the language learned their names and all their secrets how the beavers built their lodges where the squirrels hid their acorns 
how the reindeer ran so swiftly why the rabbit was so timid talked with them whenever he met them called them hiawatha's brothers by h w longfellow so children let us now understand the poem then the little hiawatha learnt of every bird its language so children it is given that little hiawatha learned the language of every bird and then he was able to know their names and all their secrets how they built their nests in summer where they hid themselves in winter he also came to know how these birds built their nests in summer season and where did they hide to protect themselves in winter season talked with them whenever he met them called them hiawatha's chicken he used to talk with birds whenever he met them and what name did he call them with yes correct he called them hiawatha's chickens moving on to the second stanza of all beasts he learned the language learned their names and all their secrets so children here it is given that he learned the language of beasts beasts means animals especially the dangerous ones so he learned the language the names and secrets of dangerous animals also how the beavers built their lodges where the squirrels hid their acorns so children he also learned about how the beavers built their houses beavers are semi aquatic rodents who can live on land as well as water he also knew about the places where the squirrels might hide their acorns and acorns are the fruits of an oak tree how the reindeer ran so swiftly why the rabbit was so timid children as hiawatha was friends with all the animals and birds he knew how the reindeers could run quickly and why the rabbit was so timid timid means frightened he knew all the reasons talked with them whenever he met them called them hiawatha's brothers so it is given that he always talked with them whenever he met them and what name did he call them with he called them hiawatha's brothers let us now discuss the new words in the poem first new word is wigwam which means a dome shaped hut or tent sentence some people were sitting in a wigwam second new word is beavers which means a semi aquatic broad tailed rodent sentence i saw a beaver in the forest next new word is a corn which means fruit of an oak tree sentence an acorn grows into an oak tree next new word is reindeer which means a deer with long horns sentence there was a reindeer walking on the snow next new word is timid which means frightened sentence some people are timid by nature so children all the new words that we have discussed in this poem are wigwam beavers a corn reindeer and timid 
That's all for this video. If you really liked it or if you are visiting this channel for the first time, then please show some love by liking it and sharing it with your friends. You may also tell us by giving your comments. And yes, please don't forget to subscribe for upcoming videos. Thank you.